Alright, uh, hello again guys. Uh, what we're going to look at today uh, is how to rename uh, metric units uh, in the metric system. Now this is actually easier than renaming the English units of measure because the metric system only deals with powers of 10. Um, a lot of us tend to kind of balk at it because we're not used to the metric system. We're used to our system here. But this is actually easier than our system because since it's dealing with powers of 10, basically all we have to do to convert from one unit to another is to move our decimal. Um, and if you'll remember when we were talking about powers of 10, um, we, I reminded you that when you multiply by a power of 10, we're moving the decimal to the right. And if we divide by a power of 10, we're moving the decimal to the left. So that's really all we're going to be doing when we're renaming our metric units. So here I've given you um, the metric chart. In the metric system, there are certain prefixes that tell us how big something is. So here in the middle is where we would have our plane measure, either meters, grams, or liters. We use the same prefixes regardless of what we're talking about here. Um, I'm generally going to generically refer to meters when we're talking about that. Um, so here on the large end, we start with kilo, hecto, deca, and as we're going this way, we're getting smaller and smaller, um, deci, centi, and milli. And each of these goes up by a power of 10. So there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. There's 10 centimeters in one decimeter. There's 10 decimeters in one meter. So it keeps working its way that way as you work your way across the chart. So basically what you're going to want to do, and on the next slide I've given you a, um, a mnemonic device to help you remember these prefixes. You want to remember the order of these prefixes because it's going to make it a lot easier to rename these units if you remember those. So basically as we're moving to the right on this um, chart, our decimal would move to the right. So I've, I've given you an example here. So if I start out and I tell you I have one kilometer, as I move to the right, I would move my decimal over one to the right. So uh, one kilometer is the same as 10 hectometers, or 100 uh, decameters, or 1,000 meters, or 10,000, I forgot my prefix here, sorry, decimeters. Oh, no, it is there. Okay. Having a day, just overlooking things. Uh, 100,000 centimeters, or 1 million millimeters. These are all equivalent measures, all right? We've just renamed them using um, a different uh, prefix, okay? So you'll notice as we get going this way, we're moving our decimal or we're adding a zero, which is ha what's happening when we're moving our decimal. The same thing happens if I move to the left, my decimal is also moving to the left. So if we started on this side, we have a million millimeters, which is only um, 100,000 centimeters. We moved our decimal over one, one of those zeros went away. So that's all we're doing is um, moving our decimals back and forth. So the big thing we want to remember are prefixes here. And I've shown you the abbreviation for each of them as well, so feel free to um, pause that and copy that down. So remembering the prefix order. And yes, I stole this from uh, Ms. Stowe because I like it. That's what teachers do. I'm sorry, we don't steal, we collaborate. <laughs> So we're going to use a, a, a mnemonic device, which basically is just a way to help us remember it. So we usually use the first letter of each word to kind of create a phrase that helps us remember it. Um, so here in our, uh, our plain unit spot, I've put meters. Um, and our mnemonic device is King Henry Danced Merrily Down Central Maine. All right. So if you remember that, it'll help keep those letters uh, fresh in your head. So obviously we have kilo, hecta, deca the meters, uh, deci, centi, and milli. And just remember that meters can be um, also um, changed. It can also be liters or grams, depending on what we're dealing with. We use meters because it made it work um, better for our mnemonic device. So just keep that in mind. You can make up your own. This one is a good one. Um, the big thing you're going to want to remember, though, is the order that these go in, and that's going to greatly help you um, when you're converting those. And I'll show you that in our example. So here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remake my chart. And I'm just going to uh, put the meters in here, even though it's the same, whether it's grams or liters. Uh, kilometers, hectometers, decameters. And you'll notice deca, we abbreviate with the, the DA because there's deci as well. So we can't just put a D because then it would be different. Here we have our plane unit. In this case, since I'm using meters as meters. Then we have decimeters. So this is deca, deci, centi and milli. All right, 
So I like to write it out this way, and I like to write it in this order because it's really going to help you remember which way to move it. So then what I do is I just look at what I've got. So I have 1.75 kiloliters. Now, I've labeled this as meters, but it's fine. Just make sure your prefix is in the right place. Kilo. So I'm going to start here. I want to know what that would be is liters, which means I want to move over here. So all I have to do is count how many spaces I'm moving. I'm moving one, two, three spaces to the right. My decimal is also going to move three spaces to the right as I go. So if you look, um, what I'm actually going to wind up having to do is add um, an extra zero after I move it. I move it here once. So I moved once, I'm going to move it once. I moved twice, I moved it twice. Here I moved a third spot. So it's moving a third spot, which means I need to add that zero placeholder. So 1.75 kiloliters is the same as 1,750 liters. Over here, I'm starting with milliliters. So I'm sm starting with a small one, um, and I'm going to go over to centiliters. So actually, I'm going to wind up with a smaller number because I'm going from a smaller measure to a larger. So over here, I've got 240 uh, milliliters. So I'm moving one spot to the left, which means my decimal also needs to move one spot to the left, and I wind up with 24.0, or in this case, 24 centiliters. Do you see how just memorizing these is going to make it so much easier? Count your spaces, move your decimal, nice and simple. So much easier than trying to figure out that there's 12 inches and one foot and three feet in a yard and 5,280 feet in a mile. Our numbers are a lot more confusing. All of these are powers of 10 moving a decimal. We love the metric system. You just don't know you love it yet. All right, so I've got 29 centigrams. So it's in centa. I want to go to milli. I'm moving one spot to the right. My decimal is going to move one spot to the right, which means I need to add a zero placeholder. That's 290 milligrams. Um, for here, I have, and just to erase some of these numbers, we'll just point it out. Uh, 91.3 centigrams. I want to go up here to decagrams. So I'm moving one, two, three spots to the left which means my decimal needs to move three spots to the left. So one, two, and for the third spot, I'm going to have to add a zero placeholder. It started out here. I moved it one, two, three spots to the left as we were moving to the left. So I wind up with 0 .0913 decagrams. Um, here, I'm just going to start out with millimeters. I have 42 Point one millimeters. I want to know how many decimeters that is. So all we have to do is count. We started here. I'm going one, two spots takes me to the deci prefix. So I'm moving two spots to the left. My decimal moves two spots to the left. Point four two one. Our final example. I ran out of different colors. Purple. Um, I'm starting out with 50.1 decameters. I want to know how many decimeters that is. So, one, two gets me to decimeters. So I moved uh, over two spots to the right. My decimal needs to move over two spots to the right. Now remember, we're not adding zeros, we're moving the decimal. So I move the decimal over once, and then twice I need to add that zero placeholder. Um, so it's just that simple. If you can uh, learn the way that those go, the order that they go in, you can simply just move the decimal, count the spaces, move the decimal. Um, you're going to love the metric system. Uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment box or email me. We'll go over them in class. Uh, have a great night, guys.